doing? This is Sam Tolly. Trying to get a little walk on this nice afternoon. You know, I've been thinking a lot about some similarities between black folks during the antebellum days of the South. I'm talking about slaves and some of these 21st century Democrats. These similarities are striking to me. And I also have a extra thought about critical race theory, which I'm gonna try to tie all this together. Now, a 46th president, that is, the occupant of the White House as of the date of this video, Mr. Biden, a few years back said they're going to put you all back in chains. Um, no one held them accountable to that. But it's an interesting concept. He, a Democratic vice president at the time, made that statement trying to reference it to Republicans when in fact it was the Democrats who were the slave owners. But, I don't think he was lying. That is about putting folks back in chains. But it's mental chains that he's referring to. And those mental chains were held by the Democratic Party. See, mental chains are harder to break than iron chains. Because you can't see them. Therefore, they're harder to get a hold of. Or even recognize that you're in chains. Maybe, just maybe a few of the thoughts that I have will illuminate that fact. One of the things about the slavery days, um, it was against the law to educate slaves. They weren't supposed to be taught how to read, how to write, and they certainly, uh, no one wanted them to learn how to think independently. And here we are in the 21st century America where most of these inner city schools have below reading levels for the minorities. Um, and they're always talking about pumping more money into the schools. But the monies go to the teachers union, not to the students. And these schools are, these schools, the teachers union, and these cities are ran predominantly by Democrats. So they're not teaching folks how to read. In fact, they're even talking about math being prejudiced. How could math be prejudiced or racist? Because they're going around with this concept that minorities can't learn. And maybe the reason why minorities aren't learning is because they're in these ill-equipped schools that are being flooded with illegals purposely by politicians. And you have a teacher's union with no accountability. You know, they get tenured and they can teach forever whether the kids learn or not. So this is something to keep in mind. Also, oh I'll get back to the schools and a potential solution a little later. We're getting back to these similarities. Slaves had to do whatever the master said. Slaves couldn't complain or they would be hurt, whipped, even killed. So the slaves just obeyed master, whatever master said go. And I've noticed throughout the years, Democrats never complain to the Democratic Party. I've never seen them say, you guys promised you were gonna do A and didn't do it. Matter of fact, they come around, the running joke is, they show up every four years, tell black folks that Republicans are racist and the vote for them. That we're gonna do all this stuff and they never do. But they never complain. They go along, they do what they're told. You know, even when they flood 
their neighborhoods with the illegals and tell them that this is for their good. Now imagine that you have a neighborhood with folks that are trying to squeeze by a living and now you're throwing a bunch of folks that don't even belong in this country in that neighborhood, putting them in the same public schools with your kids that aren't learning already and they're being choked out for resources. But Democrats don't complain. They do whatever they're told. Matter of fact, I've seen on too many occasions where these Democratic leaders will say anything and no one is ever held accountable. But we all know about what Mr. Biden said. About if you don't know the difference between him and Trump, you ain't black. I never heard one Democrat complain about it. I've complained about it numerous times. I remember when Condoleezza Rice was Secretary of State under the Bush administration. And Democrats drew a caricature of her and called her Aunt Jemima. Not one Democrat stood up for her. Not one said anything. I mean, you can talk any way you want to about black conservatives. They talk about Clarence Thomas like he's a dog. But not one black Democrat will acknowledge them or say anything favorable. And when Democrats promise, um, just like they promised Ice Cube, we'll talk to you right after the election because they really jumped on him when he decided to talk to the Trump administration about helping black folks. The last I heard, nobody's talked to him. But Democrats don't say anything because if you're a black Democrat, it's just like an Annabelle in South. Master say shut up, you shut up. You don't complain, you just go along and do what you want. Another thing in the antebellum South was the master had control of who made babies and how many. Of course, they wanted a lot of them in those days because the more babies, the more property, the more property, the more cotton they can pick or whatever. But nowadays, the Democratic Party doesn't want a lot of black babies. They want less. So they flood black neighborhoods with abortuaries. Planned Parenthood is all over the minority community. While well, black people make 13% of the population, meaning black women are only like 6.5%, they have like 35% of the abortions. And the Democratic Party is going to make sure that they get that half a billion dollars every year. That's half a billion dollars of taxpayer money to Planned Parenthood. And Planned Parenthood, like I said, is the largest baby killing organization in the womb in America. And the highest percentage they kill are black babies. Democrats always claim they care about the children, but they certainly don't care about black babies in the womb. But have you ever heard a black Democrat complain about that? I haven't. And these black Democrat, they call themselves black Democrat Christians? Not one word. I remember when Barack Obama was at a Planned Parenthood meeting. And he said, Planned Parenthood, God bless you. Here it is a man that claimed to be a Christian. It's blaspheming the name of God in a den uh, that is this the foundation is built on death no black democrats said anything about that because black democrats don't complain black democrats are loyal they do exactly what they told just like they were on the plantation uh, pre-1865 now let me say a couple of words about what I think is the hypocrisy of critical race theory. These people, besides it being a totally Marxist and ungodly concept, and they're, they're running with this thing that white people cannot do anything positive or good for black folks unless it serves their benefit. And they're talking about all white people. Okay, fine. If this is what you really truly believe, then why aren't you people for school vouchers? I mean, I don't know anyone that if they 
went to the meat market and bought some rancid meat and they took that stuff home they thought it was good and they seen how bad it was would never go back to that meat market again they would go to a meat market that was going to give their family exactly what they need for the money you spent and yet black democrats mostly have the, their children in these rundown schools that aren't educating them that the teachers aren't accountable for them and yet they keep their mouth shut when we black conservatives say we want the power to put our kids in the school we want to you're gonna sit over here and talk about systemic racism and white folks holding you back when by all rights you should have the power to have your kids educated where you want them to it's not the government giving you any money that's your tax money so you should have that responsibility and that right to make sure your child is educated now these politicians they don't put their kids in them rundown schools they put them kids their kids in private schools schools where they know their kids are going to learn you know why because they want to make sure their kids are highly educated and ready to take over their job when they're gone to watch after your kids who don't have the education but if these critical race theory people had any kind of uh thing to say besides the nonsense if they really cared about black folks they would be saying you know what we need to be able to put our kids in the school we want to we need to be able to home school our kids if we want to we need to be able to open up charter schools that's going to teach them what we want them to learn no you guys rather let them stay in these low achieving schools and then dumb down the standards they're talking about well math is racist so they're talking about we're going to lower the standard look those people that are in charge don't lower their kids standards they make their kids raise higher if you want to achieve you look higher if you want to get ahead you work harder the gatekeepers who they hire to keep you guys in line i mean these so-called celebrities that run their mouth on tv and the radio and these news people all of them they don't put their kids in low achieving schools because they want their kids to be gatekeepers they want their kids to take you and tell you to get back in line well i'm not for gatekeeping and i'm not for keeping people in line i'm for people thinking clearly succinctly and making informed decisions and if you got any kind of sense and you want to take care of your kids then you're going to make sure you do the best for them and the best for them is to get them out of these rotten socialistic government run schools that ain't even trying to educate them quit listening to the nonsense use your brain get those invisible chains off from around your ankles your wrists and your mind set yourself free just like junior said in uh what was that movie platoon he said free your mind and your you know what will follow. This is Sam Tolley. I'm out.